hello everyone welcome back so in this video we are going to look at what is HTML and what role does it play on the web so you generally have heard various terms like HTML CSS JavaScript these three are the pillars of web so what HTML does so in this particular series we are gonna cover HTML so let's look at where HTML comes in so if you go anywhere on the internet and search HTML the definition we'll be getting is hypertext markup language and HTML is the standard markup language for web pages. Whether you visit any site, Facebook, Google, LinkedIn or any other site on the internet, it will be having HTML, be it in the other form like JSX or various other forms, but there will be HTML. So HTML is the core language of web and it is required for writing web pages. Right. So HTML is a markup language. It's not a programming language. Right. People often have a discussion and you can see a tons of mean memes over HTML is a programming language. So HTML is a markup language. It's not a programming language. You already might have seen that various memes coming up. HTML is a programming language, but it's not. It's a markup language. What does a markup language do? It lets you write a markup. Markup means just giving a structure. All right. Let's move forward and see what is it. You definitely need to remember this particular full form hypertext markup language. So let's move forward and see the role of HTML. So the role of HTML is it gives structure to a web page. You just write the HTML and you get the structure. You can't do a styling. You can't do the background of this particular heading to black, red or any other color with the help of HTML. So in the left side, you can see that there is a particular HTML code. You don't need to know everything. Anything will be covering everything in this series. What does this title mean? What does this H mean? What does this P mean? And you can write your own web pages, right? So we'll be concentrating everything. So this particular HTML code brings out this thing. So as you can see, there are various tags H1, P. So it just lets you write the markdown and give structure to a page. Imagine a book you are writing with a pen. So when you are writing, you are writing the content, you are writing the HTML. You bring in some sketch pens with certain colors, you style the page, right? Similarly, with HTML, you can create the content and with CSS, you can style. And with JavaScript, you can add interactivity. Suppose login, making a web request and certain other things. So let's move forward. So you might have seen that this triplet a HTML page, a web page is made of HTML, CSS and JavaScript where HTML play the role of structuring the page, CSS play the role of styling the page and JavaScript play the role of giving functionality to a web page. So for this series, we'll be looking to particularly HTML, we'll be not diving into CSS or JavaScript for this series. Thus, for this particular CSS and JavaScript, we'll be bringing more series to you. But for this course, we'll be covering only HTML in depth. So in the last video, you have installed VS Code and other tools, right? So in this uh, tool, I have opened a folder known as Code Files Role of HTML. So you can see there are various three files known as HTML. The extension of HTML is .html and on a file of JavaScript, with JS extension and other is .css that is cascading style sheet. So in this uh, particular uh, file, you can see that uh, HTML code is written and is doing some talks. So with the help of this three file, we'll be comparing like what HTML do, what CSS do and what JavaScript can do. So you can see that uh, index.html1 have only HTML. This particular line is commented and this particular line is commented. This is how include JavaScript and this is how include CSS. And this is a particular HTML code. Everything in this particular file will be seeing one by one. You don't need to understand anything as of now. This is just for demonstration. So once I open index to file, I have included the CSS, but I have still commented the JavaScript file. For the third part, I have included CSS as well as JavaScript. So in this we have HTML, CSS and JavaScript and in this we have HTML and CSS and in this we have only HTML. So I'll be opening these files in the browser and let's see how it acts upon. So I have opened this th three things in the in my edge browser. So this one, this is the first thing we saw index.html. This is the second th 
we saw index dot index two dot HTML and similarly index three dot HTML. So for index dot HTML, we saw that we only had HTML functionality, not JavaScript, not CSS. So you can see it just have the content. It don't have any styling or any interactive. Even I click this button, it doesn't do anything, right? Let's move on to HTML plus CSS, not JavaScript. So HTML CSS, you have this thing, right? So you have the styling, you have the background color of this H1, you have background color of this paragraph, even you have this button. So even if I click, it doesn't do any interactivity. That is the work of JavaScript, right? We have our content, we have our styling. So that we have HTML plus CSS. Let's move on to third file that is index3.html and we have content that is HTML. We have a styling like background color and colors that is CSS. We have interactivity that is when I click on this button, it's a hello button click. This is known as interactivity. So we have JavaScript as well. So in this particular index of three file, we have HTML, CSS and JavaScript as well. So just to sum up in the first web website, we ju just had HTML, just a content, no styling, nothing. Second, we had styling, but no interactivity with HTML and CSS just. And the third one, we have HTML, CSS and JavaScript with some interactivity. So this was the comparison between three. Hope you got this. So if you're new here, consider subscribing as well to follow along this series as well as I bring latest tutorials on tech as well as some other tech informational video on this channel.